Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased that today cultural cooperation between Ukraine and the United Kingdom is flourishing as never before. We did not allow the war to destroy our plans. We are very grateful to our British friends who along with military, economic and humanitarian support helped us to withstand the cultural front. And not only to withstand, but to discover new dimensions of Ukrainian soft power and even to reinvent Ukrainian public diplomacy in a way. Today we are here to celebrate the fruitful results of the UK-Ukraine season of culture that became a manifestation of the close cultural cooperation and friendship between our countries. During the season we managed to organize over 30 diverse music, theater, exhibition and film events at the key cultural venues in the United Kingdom. For Ukrainian artists it was an outstanding opportunity to be heard worldwide and to showcase their creativity. We will always remember our joint work on the Eurovision Contest 2023 that was upheld on behalf of Ukraine. It wouldn't have been complete without events within the UK-Ukraine season at the Eurofestival. I was deeply touched when both in Liverpool and Kyiv, 125 Ukrainian and British schoolchildren launched kites into the sky as a symbol of freedom and unity. And I can't help mentioning the interactive performance Crimea 5 AM, dedicated to the issue we should care about and should not forget about. The performance comprises 11 stories of political prisoners and their families, which oppose Russian occupation of Crimea and brutal human rights violations. While being very artistic, Crimea 5 AM delivers an important message. We should fight for those who were illegally kidnapped, detained and sentenced. Our cultural season has been an incredible experience of cultural cooperation, allowing the British and international audiences to learn even more about Ukraine and the values that we live by. I hope that such season will become a good tradition and we will build even more bridges between our countries and peoples. Thank you.